What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Hot Action Fishing and Fab. My name's Curtis, and this is my channel. Um, I'm trying to possibly bang out two videos, and uh, you know, in this little bit of time that I have. Um, you see behind me, this is the video of me uh, building the mold for the pulling platform. Um, in this video, I figured I'm waiting for that to cure. Well, I might as well start out somewhere else. And uh, I'm going to start in on building this quick release bracket for my little trolling motor I got here. This is a uh, min uh, motor guide. It's a, one of the great whites or whatever. Salt water ready. 54 pound thrust, 12 volt trolling motor. Um, I got a, like a, I feel like I got a pretty good deal on it. I paid 50 bucks for it. That's a working, running trolling motor. Um, but uh, yeah, so like I said in a different video, I could easily buy one of those brackets. That ain't no thing. I think they're like 70 bucks on Amazon for a quick release bracket. Um, but I got this uh, three-quarter inch um, PVC board, PVC board, uh, starboard. Um, and I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna make my own quick release bracket. So uh, yeah, let's get started on it. And here you go. I got this thing flipped upside down. Um, just gonna measure kinda, all right, you know, we got five inches and uh, I'm gonna measure from the back here. I'm sorry, I'm trying to film this on my cell phone really quick. Uh, like I said, five inches wide by, I'm gonna make my uh, PVC puck thing, uh, let's see, yeah, probably about 21 and 5 eighths, yeah, 21 and 5 eighths, I'll make my piece of starboard, get that all cut out, and, uh, obviously I'm gonna leave, cut a small opening in the, the puck that bolts to the trolling motor itself, leave a small opening for the puck that goes to the boat, and, uh, for people who don't get it, you guys will get it soon, so, keep watching. All right, I'm getting ready to cut this all out. I uh, got it all, you know, laid out. I think you guys got a good idea of me drawing a whole bunch. Um, yeah, here's the puck. Here's the outside shape that it's gonna be. Uh, but I'm gonna cut the puck first, just because it's easier, because the whole thing is gonna be one piece. I'm gonna rip the puck down and uh, cut it out. So what I'm gonna do though is I'm going to take my jigsaw blade because this is the only thing that I got on hand that I can cut radiuses with is just my jigsaw. I'm going to take my jigsaw blade and sand it down with my DA sander and try to make it a little bit thinner. Now obviously I'm not going to take it off a whole bunch because it will you know, probably fail but uh, I am going to try to thin it out as much as I possibly can because the thinner the blade the less tolerance there is going to be in the puck so the trolling motor won't be able to slide around as much. So, yeah, I'm gonna sand on this little um, jigsaw blade, as you can kind of see. Uh, you can kind of see that it's kind of like jagged a little bit. It's kind of like, got like an offset to it, and that's supposed to be, it's saw, uh, wood saw blade and stuff like that are supposed to have that in it. Um, so when they pull the chips and stuff out, it dis it's disperses them and it makes the cut just slightly wider and that allows for um, the saw blade not to bind up in the uh, in the piece of material whatever you're cutting. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna kind of get rid of that, thin it all out, and eliminate the possibility of having a whole bunch of slop. So yep, gonna cut this up. Oh well, yeah, here we go. <laughs> And all right, here we go. So uh, I don't want to use a 3 8 drill bit because that's kind of what you got to drill in order to use to uh, stick your jigsaw blade down in the hole and allow it to cut because you can't just plunge cut with a jigsaw. I'm going to use this, I forget what the name of this tool is called, multi-tool thing, uh, to plunge cut my starter, my starting hole for the jigsaw that rip out. So. Uh,
<laughs> well, here we go. <laughs> we got the little puck out. I tell you what, ain't nobody stealing my $50 trolling motor <laughs> and try to put it on their boat. Because the, uh, yeah, <laughs> they're going to think, oh man, that will definitely fit on the Minn Kota bracket that I bought just the other day. Or, heck no. Uh, yeah, because I made my own puck and it's freaking crazy looking. It's got all kinds of weird shapes and edges and everything. But uh, it's going to work. Um, had a little trouble getting it out of there. Uh, it just proves that my tolerances are super tight. Um, no, nah, I mean, they're probably not that tight. But uh, yeah, as you guys, I was cutting, the blade was going and like just every, a plastic was coming back together and just, you know, plastic welding itself back together. So, uh, but yeah, here's the rough cut of the little puck that I just cut out. The rest of this stuff out get my uh, router out and clean all the edges up do a little bit of sanding like I said I don't want to take too much off because I don't want to open any of the tolerances up too much but uh, here we go let's keep on trucking And there it is. It uh, definitely <laughs> not perfect, but uh, I've never actually even messed with, like, seen like one of these pucks. I mean, I've seen them in person and stuff like that, but I've never measured one. And I didn't bother to uh, go and pull up a diagram on how the actual Minn Kota brackets are. But building this, I know this is. I built this to be nine inches. And I put a three-quarter inch, three-quarter inch on both sides for the most part. That side got kind of a little skinny on me, but uh, good enough. Um, I'm going to come in. I am going to come in two inches from each side, which is that and seven, two inches. That's looking pretty much marked from already. Like that, and that's where my pins are going to be, and then probably these are where my bolts are going to be for my puck. I'm going to probably put one in the center, like that, for bolting to the boat. These five bolt holes will bolt to the boat, and then these are going to indicate my how I'm going to try to drill these holes as straight as possible because I bought this long drill bit I don't know how big it is plenty big enough it's a 12 it's a foot long drill bit but I'm gonna try to drill perfectly straight no deviation whatsoever this is gonna be perfect all the way through I literally have like no tolerance to fuck to mess up so hopefully I'm gonna drill all the way through come out the other side pull it out drill all the way through come out the other side pull it out that's gonna be perfect and then I'm going to TIG up um, this, you know, this stainless rod. I'm going to break, I'm going to cut it down into pieces and I'm going to use this for my, uh, my little pole or my little uh, pins. I'm losing it today. My little pins to uh, lock this, this puck and the trolling motor onto the boat. So let's get after it.
Holy crap, that come out perfect. <laughs> Very surprised. This one's probably not gonna be so much. All right, excuse the rain. I've been pushing this off, trying to finish this thing up for the past couple days just because it keeps raining and raining and raining. Um, yeah, so I'm under the carport right now. Um, trying to stay dry for the most part. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I, the last thing I filmed of this thing is, but uh, right now I am getting ready to kind of like figuring out where everything's going to be at. Uh, start drilling some holes and get this thing bolted down for uh, to make a tournament. Pernim Pernament? Pernament? However you say that word. But uh, yeah, so she's getting ready to be on here for good. So yeah, I'm thinking about painting the starboard. I know painting starboard and stuff usually doesn't, uh, you know, play out very good. It usually just chips off super easy, but uh, it's definitely not the prettiest thing in the world by no means. So yeah, but whatever, it'll work. So here we go. All right, what I bought or what I'm going to use to drill this puck into and bolt this puck down with um, is my coordinates drill bit, my countersink bit, which is going to come in handy to uh, countersink my, I think, you know, just regular flathead Phillips screws. Um, they're quarter 20 bolts. Uh, I got three inch ones that are going to go through this puck and into my haul. And then I got one and a half inches to go into this three quarter inch uh, piece and then obviously into the troll motor and uh, then yeah they're obviously super long so probably gonna nip them off with a pair of bolt cutters and yep now we're gonna get this thing quote quote mounted All right, I got the holes drilled. I'm gonna put a couple bolts in it just to tighten them up. And a uh, quick little tip when it comes to uh, dealing with stainless bolts and stainless you know, nuts, um, use a little bit of silicone spray, lubricant, W40, whatever it is, any kind of lubricant really work. But when you have two, uh, two metals that are similar, um, and they get hot when you're trying, like like when you're screwing bolts, they get hot because of the friction of the bolts. Um, it'll cause them to bind up. So, you know, it doesn't happen all the time, but it can happen, and it will might possibly give you a headache. So, I always just squirt a little bit of uh, either silicone on the bolts or or uh, on the nuts before I put them on, just to keep myself from possibly having the headache of having a bolt bind up on me. But that's a little tip. And all right. I got the bracket fairly done, it just needs to get cleaned up and like I said, possibly painted black just to so hide some of the nastiness, the imperfections or whatnot, but looks pretty sweet. I'll do a, a view out video of me pulling it on and off, but uh, yeah, it looks pretty slick. Um, yeah. Alright, here is my pin system I have made for the, uh, you know, removable bracket. As you can see, focus, dang camera, focus, focus. As you can see, I did like a kind of a cut on both sides. And what my plan is, is just to get a set of cotter pins and use that to hold the this pin in from falling out it slides in there really 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 tight so I'm not really worried even if I didn't even pin it I'm sure it's not going anywhere but there's the pin I built uh, I was gonna do it I was gonna just cut them and TIG them and stuff uh, TIG weld them but uh, I had, had this this uh, stainless steel this quarter inch stainless steel rod and I was like man I wonder if I can just bend it and try to bend it and I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to do it and do it you know right so I didn't film it so well 
you guys see me cut it and stuff and well here's the end result well, let's get her installed It came out pretty sweet. I'm happy with the way it came out. I gotta wipe some more of it. I've been using acetone to wipe stuff down. And uh, look, look at that. Can you hear it? No, I shouldn't say no. Very, very, very little slob. That was my main worry that I was gonna have a whole bunch of deviation in the uh, in the troll motor, but we're good. And all right, here is the wrap up for the little quick release trolling motor bracket, the rip-off Minn Kota bracket. Um, yeah. What I gotta say about building this bracket. I've been having, like, an internal, like, fight with myself to just be like, you need to quit building freaking hillbilly stuff. And, uh, well, I've been doing pretty good lately. The cut stuff's coming out really, really good. And, uh, this definitely came out hillbilly. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> it does not look, uh, you know, very good. And uh, I definitely know for a fact I can make it look really, really sweet and make it look badass by uh, going and, you know, using a mill. I should have called out and, you know, asked somebody, you know, some of my friends if I can use their some of their tooling because I definitely can make a perfect one. And, uh, but, you know, I rushed it and... I paid for it, so uh, I know you guys wanted to see me build it. Um, I wish I did a better job on it, but I don't know. My uh, advice to anybody who wants to build one of these: to either be a little bit better of a hand, you know, cutting stuff out. I've seemed to, uh, you know, make it all swervy and stuff, and it's not perfect. Um, or just do it on a mill and cut it out. Or do the most logical thing and just pay the 70 bucks and buy a rig from Minn Kota. <laughs> buy their quick release bracket. That would make more sense than anything because uh, just doing it is a little bit of a headache. For 70 bucks you could have a pretty sweet little bracket. Um, yeah. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you all. We're almost to that thousand subscriber mark. I mean, we've, I've never ever in my wildest dreams was I thinking that I'd get even close to that so I was just excited to hit a hundred and then I was like oh you know 500 would be pretty sweet and I'm almost getting a thousand so and it's only been like I don't know like eight months since I started this channel I'm pretty sure I don't know something like that but uh yeah I'm freaking happy thank you guys thank you for all my all my new subscribers if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe it would help a ton and get me up and over that thousand subscriber mark and uh yeah I appreciate it very much I hope you all have a wonderful week. Thank you.